As we've been reporting, two more deaths are now linked to a rare strain of drug-resistant bacteria discovered recently in bottles of eye drops. Here to answer questions is Dr. Daniel Kritzkis, Chief of Infectious Diseases at Brigham and Women's Hospital. Dr. Kritzkis, thanks for being here. Happy to be here, Erica. Good to see you, Ben. All right, Dr. Kritzkis, good to see you. So, you know, Global Pharma Healthcare, the company here, recalled its artificial tears lubricant eye drops last month. The bottles were sold under the brand names Esricare and Delsa Pharma. What do we know about how this bacteria actually got in the product? Well, there are two ways that this could happen. One uh, is when you have multi-dose bottles, that is bottles that are opened and then can get reused and they don't have preservative, it's possible for pseudomonas, which is common in water, uh, to get into the bottle uh, and, and cause infection. The fact that the same unusual drug resistance strain was found in all these bottles at four different health centers across the country suggests that this is probably a, a common source outbreak. Of, so there may be a manufacturing issue where contaminated water was used in the manufacturing process. And because of the absence of preservative, the, the bacteria were not killed. Mm, got it. Okay, so let's take a look at the latest numbers in terms of impact. The CDC saying 68 people in 16 states have been impacted by this, including Connecticut and New York. No cases so far in Massachusetts. What else can you tell us about these patients and how they're doing? There isn't a lot of information about the individual patients, except those who unfortunately uh, succumbed to uh, their infection. These infections typically start off as uh, uh, ocular infections, infections of the eye due to um, uh, in infection of the cornea, what we call keratitis. Uh, and so people who are using eye drops who develop uh, pain, especially uh, light sensitivity, and have um, a sort of a gooey drainage from their eye uh, really should be concerned and, and should seek attention from their physician or an ophthalmologist. All right, we've seen a series of national health alerts recently about a, a bunch of drug resistant infections, not just eye drops, group A strep, gonorrhea, some others. Do you think it's a coincidence or is there a larger problem here? This is very much part of a much larger problem of antimicrobial drug resistance that the infectious disease community has been uh, battling against and lobbying about for uh, for quite some time. Uh, we continue to see the evolution of bacteria to become resistant to drugs as they're introduced into clinical practice. We need to stay several steps ahead of these bugs, and we can only do that if there's an adequate investment in research on new antibiotics and support for their development, just as we saw the support for development of drugs to fight COVID-19. Okay, Dr. Kritzkis from the Brigham, thanks as always for joining us. Thank you. Very welcome. And